by uh, by, by road because we're going to do different things on different roads. But that's a project. And and HDM4, the way I normally use it is a, is, is in the form of a now. Now the other way the the other main way of doing the of using HDM4 and the way it looks like this has been used previously is programs where where you're where you're saying okay we're going to <clears throat> for the next 10 years we're going to set up these programs this is how we're going to maintain our road right so we set it up in terms of so instead of saying we're going to go out and 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 do an overlay on this road this year that's how we do it in a project but in a program we say we're going to overlay roads when their IRI gets to more than four or five four or five or whatever and and, and so we define our interventions in terms of uh, of um, requirement when the yeah um, you know what uh, intervention strategy of, of some sort Okay, and so and then and then we can say, well, then, then we can look at a program where we, you know, one program might be that we are just we're going to rebuild the road every seven years, mm -hmm. right? So that's we set we set that up, right? But we can also set up a program which is more, um, uh, uh, you know, ba based on based on condition responsive program. So we can set up a different program. And what you can do, then do with HDM4 is you can look at the difference between these programs, <clears throat> and and we can also look at the effect of the budget effect. So you can, with a program analysis, you can you you, you can set a program where you have three million rupees, or two million rupees, or what, what have you, and and look at the effect of of, of the program. Um, on what on uh, effectively what you're looking at then is what con what's the average road condition you can achieve with different levels of expenditure mm -hmm. so that that's great if you're going to go if, if you're going to go back to um, your finance uh, department and say that you know, we need this amount of money each year for for um, for, for, for maintenance, or yeah, yep. and 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 so and, and you you can go you can do your HDM for analysis and say, um, look, if we had this amount of money, this is the this is the sort of condition we could keep our roads in. If we only had this amount of money, this is how much. And choice is yours. You know, we we we'll do what you you give us the money, and we'll 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 maintain it. But don't complain about the roads not being maintain if, unless you give us this amount of money <laughs> so so you program analysis and 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 your strategy analysis of, uh, also for, do, for, for for doing those sorts of, um, of, of questions so I'm I'll, I'll just talk about the for now I'll just talk about the project analysis which is what, what we're doing and that and how, how I usually use the HTM4 but um, because because that will give you enough information about how yeah. how, how it all all works okay. but but also these the, these other other ways that look looking at programs is is another important way of, of, of using HTM4 uh, configuration for this is now, um, I'll come to configuration, okay. um, but com the com configuration is all about making the results that you're getting out of HDM4 appropriate to to, to your Requirement. your situation, right? Um, this is where you need to what what you need to be doing, and I'll, I'll show you some of the output. What you need to be doing is um, is talking to to your maintenance engineers and saying this is what HDM4 is saying will will happen if to the to the Peshawar to Chisada road right this this is this is this is the what HDM4 is, is saying and your the, the maintenance engineer will say no 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 um, uh, it's 
it will deteriorate a lot faster than that or to, or um, no 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 um, that's that's ridiculous um, we, the last time we did a overlay it, it, it lasted 10 years fine and you know it doesn't deteriorate anything like that. and in 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 the in here you can change the rate you, you can calibrate it effectively so that the so that what HTM4 is doing reflects your experience in your roads in your climate and with, and, and so just like a and, customization and and, and and with your amount of, of, of truck overloading and, and all these other things right so 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 if the calibration is is is, is very important but it's not something that I can come in and tell you what's I tell you the answer. Mm -hmm. It's something that you have to get be get a bit of experience in in playing with it, mm -hmm. and then you have to then calibrate it to to, to make it so that, so that what it's telling you is consistent with what your engineers say is is is, is the actual what, what actually happens on, on the ground. So it has lots of calibration. What basically the, the main calibration factors are um, for for road condition, for example, is how long the the road will um, will will stand before it starts getting potholes, and at what rate will, will, will potholes start growing, right? And then how long will it take before it starts be, be, before you start getting alligator cracking? And then, how fast do the alligator tracks grow? All those things. Now, it's it, it's got a standard thing in there. If, if you put those all at once, that's that's obviously going to give you the rate which, when they built this thing, they they expected. Um, but it's not going to be right for the for the shower. Not going to be right for the PPK. Um, so, um, so, it's some, so it's something that you, that to get the model working properly. Now, if you just want, if all you want to know is um, is a broad idea of um, how 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 overlays work, we're going to work compared with with rehabilitation and so forth. Then you'll get a broad idea without having done the calibration. You, you can get a good feel, and I, 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 I hate this this, this product. It's 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 um, too much input is required. It, it's got it, its data requirements are far too much. And, there are other softwares also, I think. Hmm? There are other softwares that require yeah. less and, um, inputs. No, there aren't. Oh. <laughs> can we study. judge? It, can they, but it is a beautiful teaching tool. I think you know. Um, for learning about because it, it it's what's called an expert system. You know, you know the concept of an expert system. You get all these experts around. They all 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 work out and they, and they and they try and codify their knowledge. Mm -hmm. And this is a codification of a lot of experts' knowledge, right? But um, and and so so it makes a very good learning tool. You can, you can learn a lot about how um, things, how um, how how the condition of the road affects vehicle operating costs, for example, because that's in an agency that like yours, that's, that's focused on the condition of the road, if you like, it's, it's very, you, you, you tend to ignore the impact that this has on the road user, who is actually who you who you're building the road for and maintaining the road for in the first place, and and so HTM4 is one way you you realise when you're running this how much a difference you, you you actually make to your users by different levels of intervention by the, by keep keeping the road in this standard or that standard. So it's a bit, it's a very very good teaching tool, but, but, and. And I, and I think that um, uh, un unfortunately the design of the thing um, makes you know, a, a, a little network which, which a small network um, 
is, is easy to, to play with and use um, and it's easy to learn from. Um, when, you, when you try and get a big network um, it starts getting a bit unwieldy and um, uh, yeah, a bit of a pain. Um, so what, what, I, what I 